Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have a massive amount of stuff today so I wanna jump right into it because I already don't know how long this video is going to take but I hope that my beautiful friends here will stay with me as long as possible because there are a lot of amazing things I can't wait to share and show you. So I do want to get started right away. Now these are so beautiful. The beads that I found in the fall section don't even really need to be used just for fall, especially these. I love the features on these. I love the sunflowers and I love that there are three of them because three is one of my favorite numbers. And then that pink little tassel came out of nowhere on the end of this. And I don't know why, but I just love it because it doesn't match and that makes it even more special special to me. So there is that one. Then I found this one. So I found three all together. This one has the style of the pumpkins on it, these beautiful metal uh, pumpkins. And I love them very much. And there's that pink tassel again, but I can't get over the length of these. These are the longest ones that they have ever given us in a holiday section for strung beads. So for decoration purposes, these can go around a pretty big space. Now there is this one here with the beautiful galvanized metal little leaves, but these are a little bit pointy just so that you know. So be careful when you're manipulating them because they do have pretty pointy sharp edges. So just be aware of that. And then this one has a yellow tassel. So that one is just a little bit different and I love of every single one of those so those made me extra super duper happy now so did this sign here I think it is the prettiest one I have ever seen in the bumblebee line I this came out of nowhere as well wasn't even in a bumblebee section or anything nor the fall section it was just in the frame aisle so this bumblebee says happy kind and humble and I love the wooden frame and it has a little bit of depth to the frame. I just love its entirety and all of the beautiful flowers on it. And this can definitely stand up on its own. So that made me extraordinarily happy. Then my beautiful friends, I found these wonderful packages of floral embellishments in the burlap style. So this is burlap stickers. And will you look at how special these are? I can craft, create, and do all sorts of amazing things with these when I make all of my different fall crafts. So there is that style. Then here are these beautiful roses. And these almost look, you know, like they could be the buttons on a scarecrow or something. I think that those are really, really nifty. And then I love these the most. These are totally different. And I love the way that they left the centers of the petals just, you know, just completely bare. And there's nothing on those. So I like the style of those as well. So I picked up all three that I found because they made me very, very happy. Now I do, I'm just going to bounce around. I have things around me in 360 degrees, even behind my back. So... I'm going to be picking and pulling from all angles. Now I found more of these and I have to tell you that I found these originally and I put them on and took them off so easily from this Ioni brand. This says Happy Mermaid and they are the stick on little nail, um, nail wraps. So 14 wraps. This one is the one that I repurchased because I loved the mermaid style so much. So there is that one. Then I found this one now that says Sweet Daisy, and I really like the green color. That green color is just so happy, and I like the little silver accent nail. Now, these went on and, you know, just came off so, so easily. I could not even believe it, honestly. Now, this one right here is new to my eyes as well. I really liked that pretty pink color since I'm so into Barbies right now. This one says team cheetah um wait what is that say? tamed cheetah that's what it says and so these would be really really cute to wear actually for my barbie dinner party that i want to have and then last but not least i found this gorgeous style and this right here is xoxo glitter 
and these are really pretty and fancy as well. That Ioni brand just makes me sing. It definitely just makes me sing. Now, skipping around just a moment, we are gonna come at you in all different directions today, so just be ready for it. I found this fantastic, wonderful LA's Totally Awesome all-purpose cleaner degreaser, cuts grease and grime, and it's lavender burst. 32 fluid ounces. I smelled the scent of this and it was lovely. It was certainly lovely. So I am happy to have this under my cleaning cabinet and give this a try. Totally new to my eyes and I love the, you know, the spray bottle there and it's a nice big cleaning product so I can get my cleaning done. Fancy dancy is that. Then I found this magnificent little find right here and this is scrub free 20% bonus. Uh, so there's more in here. Glass cleaner. This is windows, mirrors, and plexiglass, plexiglass furniture with foaming action, and it's 12 ounces. So this is a new product, and I really need to get to my windows. I'm telling you, I have not truly cleaned my windows in a long, long time, so I definitely have to get around to that. And then I needed some scouring pads and I found these copper ones. This is from Scrub Buddies. Copper scours and it's heavy duty copper is great for cleaning tough baked on food. So there's three of them in here. And my son and husband, they are the ones that cook in this family and they can do some damage to those pots and pans. So mama comes to the rescue because they cook, I clean up, and I need things like this to get me out of a pickle in the dish department in my household. <laughs> so I can't wait to give those a try and I hope that they work excellent. I can't wait. So love that. Now hopping around, you guys are going to be dizzy today because I've got things for days that you would not believe. Now right here, I found this wonderful creation and I cannot even believe that they're giving us something like this because even if you did not make this into a wreath form so that it looks something like that, that is a really sweet decoration piece. And these are puffy. They are they could almost be like a Halloween doll, I would even say, because they have puffiness to them. So a child I could see could carry that around just as long as there's like strings that can be removed and it, you can actually just sew it together and make really, make really cute stuffed animals. So we have this one right here that has the adorable skeleton. Then, then I found this one that is the ghosty, the cute little ghosty. I can honestly see these sitting on my couch more than even putting them in a wreath, even though they look adorable in a wreath. But if we get rid of the strings, I'm telling you, a little needle and thread can put these together to make some cute little decorations for just the couch. And then we have Frankenstein here. And how adorable and sweet is that little face? I definitely love Frankenstein. He is one of my favorites for Halloween. So he's so sweet, cute, and puffy. I was elated when I found every single bit of this. And then here is the witch hat and feet right there. So maybe not this one. That looks exceptionally cute in the wreath form. But that is just... I think a steal and a win to get something like these for $1.25 to doll them up for Halloween in whatever way you come up with to, you know, create something special for that holiday. So I love that. Yes, I certainly do. Now I do want to show you this again. I did have to pick up more because I hauled this for you guys well over a month ago, I would say, and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw them hanging again, I snatched it up. This is Spongibles uh, pre-tan exfoliator, 15 plus washes, pre-tan exfoliator, which I said, I'm just continuing to read, body wash in a sponge. And this is coconut culata with coconut oil and olive olive oil and it worked amazingly and it felt so so good so I grabbed another one of those for absolute certain because I just had to have it I am going to be bending a little bit because if you guys can't tell I am on the floor and I'm so happy to be down here for the first time in months back in my original spot of recording so I have things all the way around um but 
look at this next thing that I found. I am just so excited about all these finds. I was just thrilled at the stores this past couple of days. So this is the Karis brand. I did find these originally uh, probably again over a month ago, but I didn't find these styles. No, I did not. This is the first aid kit, 21 count. 21 count of all of those first aid pieces inside of there and the bandages are wonderful and this is a beach theme i did not find this one the first time and there are sea turtles on the bandages inside of this beautiful kit with all of those amazing amazing things inside now i gave these to my son to keep in his car with the other ones that i hauled and also to his girlfriend cindy to bring to work with her they have bandages they have tape they have you know the bigger pads in there so that you could get you know a better coverage on a wound or something and they are magnificent and everybody has absolutely loved them then we have this really beautiful case right here these tins also blow my mind because the tins can go afterwards for so many purposes of other storage things once you use the contents up inside or you can refill them so this is a really pretty pink one and I did get this one as an extra for my Cindy girl so I picked that up for my son's girlfriend as well there is that now let him see let him see my heavens will you look at this bag of jelly beans I could not believe it and they are sour this is the Allie and Rose brand right here Allie and Rose jelly beans for days i wish that this had come out closer to um, easter but it didn't so i'm gonna just sprinkle these in a bowl a little bit for my barbie dinner party i love all the different colors in there they're just so fun and my son loves sour gummies so this bag is 38.8 ounces of jelly beans and i don't know if you can preserve jelly beans i've never really looked it up to do that but that would be really awesome if you found these bags and was able to save them for for easter time so could not even believe my eyes when i saw that then i found these for my sesame street little love muffin that i have my little pip squeak that loves sesame these are so cute grow hair to style it says a style studio with dough so it, this one is the elmo and it comes with the little scissors comb the elmo right over here and two different style doughs so that is really fun and fancy and fantastic and just a happy and fun activity so i thought that that was too adorable then right here i got the cookie monster so all that they had was elmo and cookie monster and i definitely love cookie monster a lot so i picked this one up too and it has the two different doughs and that style in it so it gives you a lot of cute little characters on the packaging inside and the box you know that is just so cute how they packaged this up so a child would definitely think that that is a pretty fun sweet awesome treat now let me scan my area here so that i can at least completely clear one side i did find these up by the register and i loved the nor walls i definitely thought that those were so sweet fantastic but i especially love the one with the glasses on so these are page markers and i think that that would be excellent so that when i'm even doing like my crossword puzzles or reading my book these will show me where i left off so that i can start again and there was a whole entire basket of different ones to look through at the top you know of the drink mas uh, machine before you leave in the register area and methuen mass and um, most of this stuff came from methuen mass on haverhill street and that dollar tree so i thought that that was really fancy as well now look at this right here this is wall decor and that does not look like it could even be made and distributed for a dollar 25 this is so beautiful it has that beautiful stem up there the two leaves the gorgeous bow and i have to say there is a lot of blue coming out in the fall 
you know, just little accents of blue through the line that they are putting out. And I think it is so pretty intermingled with the orange and tans and everything else. So I love the beading on that and I thought it was so pretty. And then it has the string right here to be able to hang it up. So there is that really cute one. Oh, and this is like a, a, a sweater type of material that is encasing the wires all around or all around it so i love that and i thought it was so pretty then look at this sign right here this sign is stunning i love the shape of it and i especially love the green trim around it this is farm fresh pumpkin patch it says hay rides corn maze and hot cider and those three pumpkins those three pumpkins are beautiful. So I picked up that nice, big, beautiful, gorgeous sign. And then here is this one as well. And I thought that this was lovely because it says autumn and that's different. I hadn't seen one that said autumn in a long time. They usually say something about fall on them and what have you, but I thought that this was so pretty. So we have that little addition piece of that beautiful leaf right there some um little uh oh my heavens what do you call that uh, raffia a beautiful bow and then i love the painted leaves all in the background and then the little farmhouse down here so it says autumn blessings and i like that little scalloped area down at the bottom it just makes it a little bit more detailed so that is a beautiful sign too. I have so many new things. I'm not keeping absolutely everything that I got for the last few hauls for fall. I'm divvying, I'm divvying it up between my mom and my aunt because they love fall time even more than anybody that I know on the block. <laughs> so there is that. Then I found these beautiful pieces this wonderful headband right here. There is so much metallic shimmer and shine through this and the color combination of it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and you know I love that top knot. So with this right here, I also found this little package of hair clips and these are beautiful. A beautiful threaded uh, you know, floral bouquet with some greenery and leaves and that pretty little gold one down at the bottom that would look really pretty with that headband if you pulled your hair half up and put the headband on with that barrette in the back. And then this hair clip in that stunning pretty green right there. I love the style of it, the shape of it, and that fun, fun color green. So I picked this set up because I think that they looked all so beautiful together. So I thought that that was really, really nice. Then, then the next set, I found this color combination here with all of these beautiful, beautiful colors intermingled together. And again, that metallic, shimmery, shiny look with the pretty, pretty top knot that I love so much. And they're such a soft material for the headband. They're just so absolutely soft. So there is that. Then I picked up this package of barrettes. This one has three of them in there. They call them hair clips, but you know, I, I would kind of just put up my hair halfway and clip it in the back, almost like a barrette style. And I love this one. I love that one. And I think it matches and goes so well with that headband right there. And then last but not least, this scrunchie. This scrunchie is exceptional. I love that mustard color and that beautiful design all throughout it because it makes the mustard, I think, pop even more. So I think all three of these would go lovely together, whether you buy them for yourself or for somebody for a gifting reason. Really, really cute, cute accessories. So, and also back to school. Back to school comes around pretty quick. And you know what? You gotta get those kids some fun things for their hair as well as their clothing. So I thought that that was groovy. Now, let's start on my left side here. Let's start this mission over here. I found this wonderful material 
absolutely beautiful material from the craft of square section and if you guys have even been here with me for a little bit you know that i love to make knot banners so these are the um 18 by 21 inches of fabric and there is this really pretty gorgeous sunflower one and i love the little blue flowers all intermingled with the sunflowers so there's that one then we have this awesome one, which is a like a gingham type of print, plaid type of print, whatever you choose to think it looks like. So I like the color combination of the fall colors in that, especially with the pop of like lime green. And then this one, so pretty with the little mushroom style on it. And I just think it's so vivid, bright and beautiful. And every single one of these are that same measurement that I read to you on the first one. So here is this one. And this one I think has a lot of detail to it. So I am going to open this one for you and show it to you. So, oh my Lanta, oh my heavens. Will you look at the really beautiful little rain boots and the little galvanized metal watering cans with the flowers in it. The wagon with the pumpkins and the sunflowers, I love it. You can frame those pieces in a nice frame or strip them out and make a beautiful knot banner where you just literally tie knots down a whole entire piece of twine, string, rope, whatever you, you know, choose to. And you can doll it up whatever way you want things to dangle from it. And they are so much fun and so easy to make. So that's the material I found for fall. To make one of those i found these wonderful harvest acorns and there's 10 of them in here and i think that they are so pretty even if i was to just scatter them in a bowl but i could also embellish craft create and dress up a craft of mine for the fall with these cute little acorns in this package so there's 10 in there and i like that a, a real lot too now okay we have some stuff we have some stuff i just love it all so much okay so we have some stickers and there are new packages this one i think came out last year but i think that the gnomes in this style sticker look a little bit different they've dressed them differently so there's nine pieces inside and I love all of their cute little sweet little gnome faces. I love that that one is holding a little coffee cup. So cute. That one's holding like a hot cocoa or something like that. They, uh, that one is too, actually. I think that they're just so sweet and dear. So there's nine of those in there. These pumpkins I find to be so pretty to make like little uh, Thanksgiving cards or what have you, or to dress up an envelope that you're sending out with these type of stickers. There's nine in this set as well. So beautiful, the color combination. And then this one is absolutely hands down my favorite. There's eight pieces in here. And there is a beautiful little scarecrow sticker that has me at hello. Hello, hello, hello. He is so stunning and I love this whole entire sticker sheet. So picked that up for certain because I just loved it so much. Now here are these stickers here and these are the felt stickers. I cannot wait to craft and create. Yes, I'm still in the middle of summer. I'm wearing tie dye and I'm tan, but you know what? I love fall just as much, almost just as much as summer. And I cannot wait to do some fun things for that season. So these felt stickers, this has six of these beautiful little scarecrow stickers in it. They're so sweet and cute. Then we have some cute little gobble gobble gurkies. Some gobble gobble gurkies is the name of my turkey. <laughs> so he is just a looker right there. And then these fantastically fabulous pumpkins right here. There are six turkeys and there are nine of these lovely pumpkins. And I have to say the greenery on these is hands down stunning it's absolutely stunning now we do have some other things i haven't gotten to quite yet we're in the mix of dwindling down this is probably going to at least 32 minutes i can see it going there 
I found this football gnome and I did have to get this for the guys with the other football items that I found and hauled for you over the last couple of weeks in the fall section. So he is stunning. Those big old beans in his bum will weight him down so he can sit up nice and tall. So when I decorate for, you know, the Super Bowl for the boys, he will be up there front and center with a little sign that says, Go Pats. So I will embellish that and make that for the boys. And he is adorable. They did have some girl options with some super duper cute braids, but I did want that one for the guys. Now, okie dokie then, I found these fantastically marvelous little lip glosses that I can attach right to my little wristlet. And I love the style of it. I love that heart with the cheetah print in this pretty little shade. This says on it that it is a lip gloss and it's vanilla scented and it's quite pretty. So that shimmer and shine in it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I like the rubber little case that comes in it because I can twist that right onto my purse. Then I found this one that says no bad days in the rainbow. And it's so beautiful. This one says it is blueberry scented. So I really love that. And the shimmer and shine. And the lip gloss is stunning. So all you have to do to clip them on is you take it out of this. It just will, you know, pull right out. And then you push it right back in and pull it. And it should sit nicely attached to your handle on your purse wristlet or wherever you want it to dangle from so there is that as well now i did find another one of those hemp natural uh lip balms here this one i didn't find the last time i hauled the other one this one is fresh mint fresh mint i like that hemp infused lip balm helps soften and moisturize lips Hemp and coconut and natural oils, vitamin E and aloe, beeswax formula, twist up and euro stick. So I got this one again from my son and Cindy has one now too because the last one I hauled went to them already and now they'll have another one that is fresh mint. So those I like because the hemp is in them and we all like hemp products. So they're going to be happy about that. Now, these two I paired together and I thought that they were quite beautiful. This LA Colors uh, Powder Blush is so pretty. It is such a pretty shade. It has the little um, applicator brush right inside. This is called Spice. Spice, yes, let's spice it up. Highlights cheeks. I will take that. I will certainly, most certainly take that has a little sparkle, shimmer, and shine in it. And as you can see, I'm really liking the highlighter. I wear it every day and it makes me feel so fancy. <laughs> so there is that. Now this lipstick, I love a good shade of red and I think that that one is too pretty. Now this one is from Milani. So it is the Milani brand and it's 68 matte and it's called Iconic, matte Iconic. So that is the shade of it, and I think it is jazzy. That is a pretty fall color, date night color, or whatever color you would like to wear it for. So fancy dancy with that as well. Now, I did pick these up because these were in the baby section, but they're beautiful, and you could wear them on a dolly or whatever you would like to dress these up on, including a beautiful little baby's head. So this is says baby head wrap on it, and I love the color of it. It's a beautiful, soft material. The bow is adorably cute, and it's got a nice little stretch to it. It feels like it would be very comfortable on a child's head, and so, so adorable with a cute little outfit. And then this one with the watermelon all over it. How cute and sweet is that nice little watermelon for the rest of the summer wear? And again, it's the same exact material and style. And I thought that these were so cute. So I'm going to gift those away to my little pipsqueaks that have dolls because they can wear them. I don't have any little bambinas um, that are super small, but they can use them for their dollies for sure. Okay, let's keep going because we still have some things. I found these. 
Yes, I did, and I love them very much. These are chair co uh, chair covers. They're 21 inches, and there is this cutie patootie right here. I'm so thrilled that they have come out with so many scarecrow things because as I told you guys on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul, I love scarecrows and they are hitting the scarecrow mark for me this year. And then we have that adorable one with this sweet little face and the sunflower. You can see the sunflower in this package. You couldn't see the pumpkin in that one, unfortunately, but that is what it is going to look like over a chair. So I picked up two of them so that I can have them at our little side table because it has two chairs. And I think that that will be adorably cute. Then, okay, we have, we have my little darling honeys. We have these two crafty creations here and they are so fun, so fun and fantastic. This is a craft kit and it makes six scarecrows. It makes six of them. So it has all the pieces in there so that you can style scarecrows to look just like that. And that is a fun, fun craft creation. You could even get these, you know, for a Thanksgiving party to dress up a table for the kids to be entertained. And those little muffins would have a great time doing that. Also, this one, I cannot wait to color on my own. This is color your own decor. There's five pieces in here. It comes with the four markers and that beautiful little wooden piece that has the scarecrow image on it with all the embellishments around it like the sunflowers pumpkins leaves and that beautiful sweet face so even those are extra fun i i have not done a big thanksgiving since before the pandemic i do miss it but you know what we don't have a lot of people you know anymore that traditionally are doing you know their own thing so it's dwindled down to just us but you know what i might make the adults do something like that at a fun adult table this year because i love to put on a fun party and that is the cutest little uh you know just craft and creation to be able to do at the table and then here here are these wonderful picks for outside these are metal and there is a sweet little scarecrow boy and a scarecrow girl and they both say welcome on the signs underneath so these are my favorite. These are absolutely my favorite and they make me extra happy. And they come on these stakes right here that can pinch right down into the ground and stay through the fall season. So I can't wait to put those out front and doll up my space. So I grabbed those. Okay, look at this. Look at these. I am thrilled and love happy and excited because on every single door I hang something a wreath some type of a wall hanging on every single door in my house so I picked up all the ones that I could find this right here will go right over the back of your door dangle down and then you can put something right over the hook to doll up your door so we have this and the metal piece right there with the beautiful pumpkins and that sunflower so incredibly pretty then we have the bicycle. The bicycle is so sweet and cute. I love a basket on a bike. I definitely do. So there is that beautiful metal piece, the hanging and the hook down there. So I can't wait to share that with one of my doors. Then we have this cream one and that gorgeous sunflower, the hook. These I cannot believe I can get for $1.25 because if I find hooks like this to go over the door anywhere else, they're roughly about $6.99 that I can find. And then this one says thankful and I am always thankful, especially for everybody here and my family that supports me and loves me and just brings blessings into my days. And I love all of you incredibly much. So there is that. Now, only five six more things and i will show them to you fast i bought these beautiful jars right here this gorgeous mason jar and this is a nice big beautiful size this is fun to make like a hot cocoa type of kit in it and put a little tag on it and gift for christmas they had a whole entire shelf of these out and i loved it so it has all the different measurements on the side 
so that you can portion out things, you know, properly inside of it. And it is a beautiful jar. They did have one in a smaller size also, but I picked the bigger one because you know me, I like more for my dollar twenty-five. And then this one here, such a beautiful, beautiful style. I can put my tea bags in there. I got multiple of these so that I can put them in my cabinet space and they will line up so nicely with, um, you know, sweetener packets, tea bags and what have you. And these are all a beautiful, heavy glass. So I love that a lot, but then, but then, right here this is what i'm gonna do with this gorgeous one this glass jar is such a pretty square rounded shape and i love it but my little honeys i'm gonna make a bunch of those into scarecrows so i picked up these hats right here there's four pieces and they have these gorgeous hats these beautiful little styles with the little patches of flannel on them and I'm going to make them into scarecrows. I'm just going to make it into a scarecrow head. So with some of those, that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I picked up these witch hats. I picked up the witch hats. I'm probably going to pluck them off of the little picks here and I'm going to make some witches out of jars that look just like that too for Halloween. <laughs> I was going to say fall, but I mean Halloween. So here are these glitterly glittery <laughs> lovely beautiful hats and these are quite heavy they're nice picks you could also pop them out of beautiful floral arrangements and add a little flair to your halloween decorations so there are those now that is it 35 minutes i haven't made a 35 minute video and forever in a day i apologize if i kept you too long if you needed to click off and come back to me i thank you for coming back to me i love all of your faces i'm gonna let you go right here i hope you have a beautiful blessed wonderful happy and loving day and i am so thankful that you are hanging out with me and doing all this fun stuff so thank you i love you guys and i hope you have a beautiful day please like share subscribe comment down below and hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that i upload a new video on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. Bye everyone.